Hi, and welcome to a quick lesson on factor trees and how to express a number as the product of its prime factors. Okay, sounds complicated. It's quite a lot there. We really need to know, we need to have a good understanding of what a factor is, what a prime number is, and also what it is to find a product. Okay, hopefully we know the answer to those. We're going to discuss those first before we do it. And actually the process itself isn't so difficult. Can you list all the factors of 30? Okay, so remember that the first factor of any number is always 1, and they naturally pair up. So what do we times 1 by to get 30? It's 30. Now 30 is an even number, so the next factor along is 2. And what do we times that by? 15. 3 is the next factor, okay, and what do we times 3 by? It's 10. And the next one, well, 4 isn't a factor, um, so the next times table that 30 goes into is five, what do we times five by? It's six. Okay, so we've actually got eight factors of 30. Can you list all the prime numbers up to 30? Okay, have a go if you like, if you want to pause the video, up to you. And um, the first prime numbers, now remember that one isn't a prime number. Okay, so the first one is two. A prime number is a number that can only be, or well, only has two factors, one in itself. That shows you why one isn't a prime number because it only has one factor, one is itself. Okay, so the first one is two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, no, 10, no, 11 is the next one, 12, no, 13, 14, seven goes into 14, no, 15, no, 16, no, 17 is the next one, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, no, 23 is the next one, 24 has factor six and four, no, 25, 26, 27, so I'm 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 is the last one. Okay, so there's all the prime numbers up to 30. All right. Now, hopefully those, those definitions, those concepts are okay. The next thing that we need to know is what a product is. And a product is another way of saying multiply. Okay, so say the product of 2 and 3 is 6, for instance. That's the product of 2 and 3 is 6. Um, two factors, one in itself, we've talked about that being prime numbers. So if we get this, this question in a, in a test or an exam, write a number as the product of its prime factors, okay, then um, it's something like, you know, 6 equals 2 times 3. These are both prime numbers, okay, and it's the product of its prime factors, okay. Sounds complicated still. I'm going to show you how to use factor trees to answer these questions, okay. This is the key. We use a factor tree. So on the next page, let's have a look at an example. We might be asked to express 15 as the product of its prime factors. Okay, we're just going to split 15 into two random factors. What goes into 15? I know 3 does. I know 5 does. We then ask ourselves, are any of those numbers prime? Actually, both of them are. 3 is prime and 5 is prime. We've done it. So 15 as the product of its prime factors 3 times 5. Excellent. Okay, fantastic. Let's do another one. Express 6 as the product of its prime factors. What does 6, what can it be split up into? Well, 2 and 3. Again, easy. They're both prime. These are too easy. Okay, so 6 as the product, product means multiply, of its prime, prime numbers, factors. Yes, they're both factors. 6 equals 2 times 3. Too easy. Too straightforward. Let's do 24. Now, 24, let's take some random numbers that it can split up into. We could have 2 and 12. We could have 6 and 4. Let's go for 6 and 4. Are any of those numbers prime, we ask ourselves? Now, in the last two examples, both numbers were both prime. But in this example, 6 and 4 are not prime numbers because 6 can be split up again into 2 and 3. And 4 can be split up again into 2 and 2. Now, are any of those numbers prime? Yes, actually, all of them are. Okay, so we can actually say that 24 is equal to, and once we get to all prime numbers, by the way, we stop. So what have we got? We've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So 24, what's 2 times 2 times 2? It's 2 to the power of 3 times 3. That is a really good answer, okay? And we can check it because 2 to the power of 3, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 times 3. 8 times 3, 
it's when your foot really works. Yeah. Okay. By the way, if we'd have done it um, 2 and 12 to begin with, we would have got the same answer. If you want me to prove that to you, let's have a go at the side. 24, if we'd have split it up into 2 and 12, any of those prime? Yeah, immediately we've got the 2. Stop there. Okay, let's keep going with the 12. Um, what have we got? 2 and 6, any of those prime? Yep, the 2 is. Any of those? So the 6 we continue with, uh, 2 and 3. So we'd have ended up with exactly the same answer, 2 times 2 times 3. So it doesn't matter what factors you split it up into to begin with. Um, you will always end up with the same answer, and hopefully this. Okay, let's do, we're going to do another one. 36 this time. Split it up into its, um, into its factors, pair of factors first. Well, nice obvious one is 6 and 6. Are any of those prime? No. So we continue. What do we split them up into? 2 and 3, 2 and 3, perhaps? Are they prime? Yes, they are. So we've got our answer. So we can now say that 36 equals... 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Remember, you know, I could have written 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. I've just written them in numerical order. It doesn't matter. Um, so what we've got here, well, 2 times 2 is 2 squared, and 3 times 3 is 3 squared. And we can go and check our answer at the end. So we could say, right, what's 2 times 2 times 2 is 4, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 9 is 36. Yes, it works. Okay, and we've split it up. Let's check it. It's the product. Yes, it's a multiply of its prime. Yes, they're all prime factors. Okay, let's go and do another one. Example five. Um, 40 this time. What could I split 40 up into? Four and ten, perhaps? Any of those prime? Certainly not. Okay, I can keep splitting them up into until I get to prime numbers. Two and two. Two and five. Any of those prime? Yes, they all are. Two, two, two and five. So let's go write it now as the product of its prime factors. 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, first of all, let's deal with the 2s. That's 2 to the power of 3 times by 5. Let's check it in our head. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. We've got it. Okay, there's our final answer. So again, we've split it and we've expressed 40 as the product of its prime factors. Um, one more, I think. 27. Okay, let's go for it. So what does what goes into 27? I think 3 and 9. We ask ourselves, any of those prime? Well, actually, the 3 is prime, but the 9 isn't. So we're going to continue with the 9. That, that, that leg stops, okay? That branch stops there. Um, what goes into 9? 3 and 3. And so they're both prime as well because they're all the same. So 27, um, therefore, is 3 times 3 times 3. And if we're to be really clever, we can write that as 3 to the power of 3. Okay, and we've done it. We've written it as the product of its prime factors. Try these yourself, okay? So feel free to pause the video, have a go at expressing these numbers as the product of their prime factors. Okay, I've got the answers ready on the next slide. So I'm going to give pause for a few seconds, let you pause the video and have a go. Okay, so how did you get on? Did you get the answers? Let's go check. Here they are. So here's my factor trees, and here's the product of their prime factors. Two times two times two, two cubed. Three times seven, seven times five. Three squared times five. Two squared times seven. And these are all different, so it's just two times three times seven. I hope that you're nice and confident now with this topic and good luck with your work.